Hello children, how are you? Hope you are all doing well. Now, look at this particular picture children. What is there on the gate? Look at this particular picture. What is there on the gate children? Yes. Can you recognize it? Yes, it is a letter box. Do you have a letter box like this at home children? Yes. Do you ever receive letters? Your parents might have received letters from uh, their office or from the bank or from some company, isn't it? I think for you all, the need of writing a letter did not arise, isn't it? So as this is the age of technology where you have cell phones and in order to communicate with your friends, uh, teachers and your relatives, grandparents, so you might have called them and you are you can speak to them, isn't it? So the need did not arise for you, isn't it? But children, if you go to a hill station and where there is no network, so how you want to share your experience or how you want to tell your problem to anyone, so you cannot do it because there your phone will not work, isn't it? So at that time, the need arises to write a letter, isn't it? So now, let us learn writing a personal letter that is block 12. So in that, we will learn S1 elements of a personal letter. So by the end of this particular thing, you will able to identify the elements of a personal letter. Elements means the different parts of writing a personal letter. So this is written to your parents, friends and relatives. Yes, children? Now, look at this particular letter. I'll read it for you. Number, that is the house number, children. 32, comma, first cross, 8th main. Lajpat Nagar, Bangalore, and that is the pin code. November 30, 2013. Dear Rashi, how are you? I wanted to write to you earlier, but got busy with exams. I am writing to tell, writing to you to tell about my trip to Lonawala. I went to Lonawala for two days. It's a beautiful place with hills everywhere. I saw lots of tourists and chicky stores. We stayed at the Hillview Resort. The resort is located at the foothills. Every morning I went for a walk and came back to the smell of hot ginger chai. For breakfast, I ate lots of delicious chola batura, which is my favorite. I felt relaxed and fresh after my two-day break. Waiting to hear from you. Yours lovingly, Sam. Okay, so this is the letter, children. Now, in this letter, we'll see here the first part. So here, this letter contains five different parts. Now, first one you see, I'll be asking you some questions. Here, uh, when was this particular letter written? Yes, this letter is written on November 30, 2013. Okay, from where this letter is written? Yes, it is written from Bangalore, it is written. So, to whom is this letter written? It is written to dear Rashi. Okay, who wrote the letter? Sam. Sam wrote the letter. So, about what did he write? So, he had written about his trip to Lonawala. Okay. So, this is a place in Maharashtra that is Pune children. It is a hill station. So, here this particular boy Sam, he has written, he has written his experience in this. Okay. Now, here you can see the first one is the heading. We have heading. So, in heading, what comes in the heading? It is not the title children of the lesson or not that. It is heading where it, the writer's address is given. Writer means who is the writer of that particular letter? Sam. Sam has written the letter. So, his address will be there. So, from which place he is writing? That his address. And when he is writing, the date will be there. So, after that, that is uh, address is the heading. And after that, you have salutation. So, what is this salutation? It is a greeting. To, it is a greeting. It will be there in any letter. So, how you will write the salutation? Dear Rashi, dear friend, like that you will write. Then comes the 
body of the letter. That is the third one, third part. So what is written in the body of the letter? So in that body of the letter, the writer's thoughts are written. So here, Sam has written about his experience to that particular hill station, his trip to a hill station. Whatever he experienced, whatever he had seen, that he has written. So we have to divide the body of the letter into three different paragraphs. Okay, children. Then coming to the closing. So what is this closing? It is nothing but saying goodbye. Okay. In that way, you will close the letter. And then finally, you will write. So this closing of the letter, children, it starts with a capital letter and ends with a comma. That is, you can write yours lovingly, yours friendly. Okay. And you have to put a comma. Then comes the signature. Is this clear, children? Now, once again, we'll see one more letter. We'll move on to the next slide. Now here you see. So this number 405 till Bangalore it is there now children. That is the heading. Okay. So why do we need this particular heading? Okay. So now here this letter is written by whom is it is written? Lata has written this particular letter. Isn't it? So this Lata has written. This is whose address? Lata's address. So to whom did Lata write? To Sitara she has written. Then if she wants to give a reply. So she wants the address, isn't it? So the above address to the above address she will write. So that is the, this address is the heading. So heading is very important. If there is no heading, how that uh, Lata will give a reply? Okay. Is it clear? So dear Sitara, so Lata has written this particular letter to Sitara she has written. So when Sitara wants to write letter to Lata, then she will write to that particular address. Is this clear children? So now next after this address you need to leave one line and then you have to write the date. So date should be written as month. Okay. Then after month, after month what you will write? Date and the year. Okay. Then you have to leave one line and everything children it should come towards the corner. Okay. All you can see everything it is towards the corner left hand side everything should to be left hand side then comes salutation so what is this dear sitara it is a salutation it is a greeting so then you are writing the body of the letter so when you are writing the body of the letter in that first paragraph you have to mention how are you okay here i am fine how are you and what you want to tell in that particular letter that you have to write so I wanted to tell about my journey or I want to tell about my trip. Okay. I want to tell how I have spent my summer vacation like that. You have to write first. Then the next paragraph where you will describe what you want to say. Okay. That description will be there in seven to eight lines. Then you will write closing sentence. Then you will write another paragraph of this waiting to hear all about your travel to Goa. So what you want to know from your friend that you have to write. Then comes yours lovingly. So that yours lovingly is the closing sentence. It is the closing part. It is starting with capital letter. Isn't it children? See why is capital and ending with comma. So it starts with the capital and ends with a comma. So this is the closing one. Then comes the signature Lata. Clear? So what we have seen children, first writer's address. So writer's address is the heading, then comes the date, date then salutation. So writer's uh, address is the heading is the first part or the first element. Then comes dear Sitara is the second part of the letter that is salutation. Then how are you is one paragraph. Then I went with a couple of my friends. This is another paragraph waiting to hear all about your travel to Goa. That is the another paragraph. So, this three paragraphs comes under body of the letter, which is the third element. Then, yours lovingly is the closing one. That is the fourth element. Then, finally, the signature. Is this clear, children? Now, let's move on to the next one. Okay. So, in the next one, what do you see, children? What is the next one? Yes. Here it is the elements of a personal letter. That is in your workbook, you can see, children. So here you have brackets are given children, isn't it? So what, what, what is the first one? Read the parts of a letter and number them, okay, number them in the order as they appear in a letter. So in the letter what we have seen first, yes, first it is the heading is there. 
So whichever, wherever that heading is there or the writer's address is there, there you put number one. Clear children? Then comes, after that what you have to write, here already along with that heading only, what is there? Date also is there here. Clear? Then after that heading, what comes? What is the next one children after the heading? Yes, it is the salutation. So here, what is the salutation here? Dear Aditi. So there you put number two. Okay. And I think the remaining part, I think you can do it. Isn't it children? Yes, try to do this one. Then we'll see the second one. So what is the second one? Why do we write letters? Give two reasons. So why do we write letters children? Yes, we write letters in order to share our experience with our friends or relatives. Okay. In order to ex share our experience, we will write letters. And apart from that, why do we write letters? Yes, children, you write whatever we have discussed. Another point you are going to write by yourself. Is it clear? We'll move on to the next one. Yes. So, next one is S2. So, here planning and writing a letter and S3 is reviewing a letter. So, what is this planning and writing a letter? Uh, that is, in this planning and writing a letter, you will be able to plan and write a personal letter that describes an event using sensory details. So, in already in that lesson, we have learned the sensory details. Isn't it? So, using that sensory details, how to write a letter, we will come to know about it. Is it clear, children? So, now, here you look at this same letter which we have already done it. Okay. So, same letter. Here, now you are very much familiar with the, what is the first part? Yes, it is the heading. Then, sec heading is very important because heading will help the person to give a reply. Then comes the salutation. So, every letter will have a salutation. Why? We have to greet others. So, for that sake, salutation. Then the body of the letter, as we have already discussed, it will be in three paragraphs. Then the closing starts with a capital letter and ends with a comma. Then comes the signature, children. Now, coming to the next part, five senses. So, what are those five senses? See, hear, feel, smell, taste. So, when you are describing anything in that what you see, what do you hear, how do you feel, okay, what did you smell and how, what, what are the things which you have tasted. So, all these details you have to give in the body of the letter. So, using these five senses, we are going to write a letter, okay. Now, our topic. So, what is our topic? Write a letter on the topic, my Diwali celebrations using details from the five senses. So, what are the uh, uh, senses, five senses which we have already done it children? What are the five senses? Yes, that is see, hear, smell, taste and feel. Is it clear? Now, coming to the, so now here what do you see children in this picture? Yes, you can see the girls playing over there. They are bursting the crackers. Then tasting what are there? Very nice, delicious sweets are there, isn't it? So keeping all this in our mind, the five senses, we are going to write a letter. Okay, so now before we write a letter, children, what uh, about that particular topic, Diwali celebrations, about that particular topic, what do you see? So we see so many people around. Okay, so how do they appear to us? shiny so they look very shiny and everywhere uh, you you see the crackers you see the lights okay they are shining then on that Diwali day what do you wear new clothes so everyone wearing everyone with new clothes now what do you hear on that particular day so on that day just imagine what do you hear yes cracker sounds loud bomb sounds and next how do you feel children First of all, you will feel very much excited if you know how to burst the crackers or else little bit worried whether that something may happen to you, isn't it? Now, what is the smell which you smell it over there on that particular day? Yes, it is the that um, gunpowder smell from that uh, um, bombs it comes out. 
okay that's that smoke or that smell you uh, you you can have that one that one also it will be there then what do you taste children on that day festival day means it's a it's a day of a feast it's a day of having delicious sweets so diwali means sweets and lights isn't it so you have to any topic when it is given first you have to write this column and what you have to tell what you see on that day hear smell feel taste all that you make a chart of it and then it will be easy for you to write it children clear now we'll see planning and writing a letter okay now open your workbook to s2 that is planning and writing a letter so here what is your topic children yes write a letter on the topic my diwali celebrations using details from the five senses so already we have written about this particular topic what we have uh, using the five senses that chart we have made so using that particular chart you need to write this particular letter so how you will start first part is the heading so in the heading what you will write you will write your address you are writing if i write my address so you are writing your address you write so that is the heading then comes your the date so which day you are writing month date year you have to write so then after that that is the first part heading part is over that is the first one over now coming to the second one so what is the second one yes very good it is the salutation which is the greeting so there to whom you want to write yes do you want to write to me children yes you can write to me or you can also write to your best friend or to your grandparents to your relatives any one you can write so what you'll write dear d will be capital dear friend dear someone you write name and you put a comma then your body of the letter is divided into three different paragraphs so in the first paragraph what are you going to write so you'll write how are you i am doing well and i would like to write i would like to describe so what do you want to write in this letter that you have to mention so when the person who is reading it when he reads the first two lines he will come to know what you are going to write in the later part so you will write i would like to describe how i how i have celebrated diwali isn't it then then you are going to describe children so how you will describe yes in that description you can uh, answer to these questions that is what uh, what do you what did you do on that particular day okay and how did you decorate your house and what did you do enjoying on that particular day diwali and uh, what did you hear and what did you taste so all this which we have already written the uh, sensory details all that you can write here okay then how you will end this body of the letter s yes, you will end by writing that see you soon or hope to see you soon or waiting awaiting for your reply or reply soon that you will write so that comes as the body of the letter so body we are writing in three different paragraphs so body is the third part or the third element is over then what what comes to children after that you have to close it so closing will start with a very good capital letter and ends with a full stop so yours friendly or yours friendly you can write and put a comma and you write you can sign it children is this clear okay now uh, now in this letter we have used the uh, details sensory details we have used and uh, for example if we don't use the sensory details how our letter will be yes very boring okay so how does these sensory details help us help the reader yes these sensory details which you have used in the letter it helps the reader to imagine that experience so whatever you are writing when i read i imagine it even i to experience it okay and apart from that it also makes uh, people when they read they will feel enjoyed okay is it clear now we move on to the next one so next one it is the parts of a letter so these are the different parts first is the heading salutation body closing and signature so i think you are all familiar with all this clear children now now this is s3 reviewing a letter so now you are very much familiar with all the five parts now here you look at it so here read the letter you have to read this children then check the above letter using the checklist okay 
the letter first you you just go through this particular letter then read this checklist first one i'll do it for you children the letter has a heading with with the date so is the letter is having heading yes date is there yes it is there so you can put yes the letter has at least two opening lines two opening lines so body of the letter will be in three different paragraphs here you see body of the letter how many paragraphs are there children three are there no only one so it's not two opening lines are not there only only one only so one uh, the letter has at least two opening lines so see according to that and you write then the middle paragraph gives you the details about all the five senses so read that and complete this checklist is this clear children thank you